Good morning, everyone. It's cold and drizzly again. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow on Thanksgiving. I hope everyone's getting ready. Um, I've got a lot to do today. I will not be cooking another turkey. <laughs> I've already cooked three and I think we're turkeyed out here at the house. So I'm going to come up with a little something different, maybe some New York strips and some shrimp and some wonderfulness. Okay. So yesterday, um, the new penny list <laughs> apparently was off the charts. I'd only looked at a couple of things. I went to look and see if I could find some beach towels. Well, there were no beach towels. But I did find some good stuff. And I really don't know what's in some of these bags because <laughs> they got packed for me. So I'm going to show you some of the things that pennied out that I have. That I mean, some things I, I, I mean, come on. Really? Okay, this one's really heavy. Okay, so what all is in here? Let's see. Oh my goodness, you guys. There's a lot of penny stuff in here. Okay. Oh, well, isn't that cute? I don't know, did it, does it light up? Does it touch? It's supposed to light up. Oh, you got to pull it. So for next year, we've got a jack-o'-lantern and it has like a little light assembly. How cute. I got a lot of these. These are these little chairs with succulents in them. Like... I got a lot of them. There's three. Okay, they're heavy too. I mean, they're cute. I mean, they could be repainted into colors that match your decor, maybe. I don't know. They're very, very heavy. Great for paperweights. Okay, what else did she put in here? I'm like, I don't even know. But all this stuff was pinned out. That's all I know. Okay, we have a grill spatula. This really looks like a really nice one. Um, it's made by, oh, oh, what is that? I can't even think. I can't see it. I'll tell you what, losing your eyesight is the worst thing. But anyway, it's a really nice spatula. It's really heavy. Um, oh, this is cute. This is the little silicon basting brush and the little pan that goes with it. Penny. Um, what else we got? Okay. This here is something I really, really think that I'm going to like. The Charbroil. This is the Charbroil brand. I mean, it's, it's a pretty, it's been around. Um, it's like when you do pulled meat, you take these two little things and you, I call them bear grippers. <laughs> That's what they are not, but it's to help. Like if you do, uh, your pulled pork or maybe you're tired of Turkey and you want something else. I thought there were three of these, but apparently just two. Okay. These are sprinklers. There's two of them. Um, they're normally $20 by Bellstrom. They're an oscillated sprinkler. So what a great thing to have next year if, um, you know, we have running water and we can hook a hose up. Maybe the dogs will enjoy that too. In the garden, of course. Um, something I did enjoy getting, I got these for the grandbaby's box. So when she's ready to start doing this stuff, these are learning books. Now, in the display, one half of them pennied out, the other half didn't. On this specific um, display, there were 25% off stickers on the ones that pennied out. So you have like these little whiteboards. One is telling time, one is fractions. I mean, do they really teach how to tell time anymore? I mean, everything's digital. I remember when I was learning how to tell time, it was during the winter of 78. I was at my mother's place of work, which was a plumbing supply company where she was the receptionist and order. Or she did it all, I guess, the office person. And I would have to go to work with her because school was called off. 
And that's when I was learning time. She had a clock sitting around and she would sit it down and I was learning how to tell time during the winter of 78. Is this like a foreshadowing of how bad the winter is going to be? God, I hope not. But anyway, um, and then we have these schoolhouse uh, white clean play sets. This one here is the schoolhouse and then you have one is the farmhouse. How in the world does that work? Oh, it's taped together, so you can't open it. But um, it kind of shows what it is. And then we have this thing for addition. It's got a cute little parrot on the front of it. It's a bending book. And you can see that it has the 25% clearance on it. Um, so she and I split them up. When I pointed them out, um, she checked them. And I just took one of each. And I said, well, put the rest of them in the in the box for the uh, toys for tots. And she was like, oh, okay. All them toys, just keep throwing them in there. Don't let people get them. Just throw all the penny toys in there. Oh. <laughs> and then this little guy is a little werewolf. It's a little squishy. And it's a Halloween. So it pennied out. Um, if I gave that to any of my animals, it would just, you know, they would eat it. Oh, fun. Another squishy toy. Okay. So let's see what else I got in my bags here. We got the American flag with Lady Liberty on it. And I am putting this out today because I do believe in liberty. The justice system. And that people will do the right thing. So yeah, this is going outside. And then I got two more little outside things. One is a little wheel. Hey. Oh, come on. I know I have enough hot air for that. Um, and then there's... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what's this? Wow. The Charboro thermometer. We got to take that in the house. I don't want that out here for any more time. Just because. And then we got three hummingbird feeders. Well, hummingbirds. We're going to fill... Well, no, we only had two of them. Oh, look here. We got a sweet melon drinker here. Um, what the heck? I, I don't know what you're supposed to do. Why it has two double wall wine tumbler. Okay, well, that's why, because I don't know how to drink wine, apparently. And look here. We have the little lamb with the succulent in it stuff really I mean you know it's whatever um and then I've got one more thing to show you oh god it really freaks me out this right here the joker mask it was ten dollars this year um it was made famous not only by Heath Ledger but also by the other Joker who did a phenomenal job, who is now getting ready to play Napoleon. He was in, and I can't ever remember his name. He was also in, oh my goodness. Really? Russell Crowe, the gladiator. So here we go. Now, I might do a video where you see my animals freaking out, but it's because I want them to see this mask <laughs> and you're going to see their reactions to this. And I'll make sure I'll title it so you'll know. But this is the horrible mask that they're going to be seeing. Okay, so I went to another dollar store, another dollar general, and I had a whole cartload of stuff. You know, I, I really wanted beach blankets or bleach beach towels you know i was wanting those kind of things beachy towels 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 when you have three extra large dogs it's nice to have extra large towels so that's kind of like what my thought was i didn't find any towels but there were like four other people penny shopping i mean they had their phones out they're scanning stuff and i'm like holy crap 
I remember when penny shopping was like the thing. I guess it's the thing now, but it's not as good as it was back then. So anyway, this lady found a whole box of the Brooks and they're, they're a gray dot, which really kind of freaked me out. But these are these tops. They're a Bobby, Bobby Brooks. And so I got two of them. I got this one and I got the blue one. I mean, you know, if anything, they're a nice blouse for a penny and they were marked $12.50. So that's part of my penny shopping. Ta-da! Now what do I do with my notes? Oh, here they are. Okay. Um, real quick, I want to talk about this and it kind of brought this up to me. Lady Liberty. Okay. There's a group out there and they're called Moms of Liberty. They actually won some sort of Patriot uh, award. And I really am very much questioning what I read about them. I really didn't know a whole lot about them. So I started doing some research. They are the ones who go to the school council meetings and they harass parents that do not have the same agenda as they do as far as the public school system. Oh, wait a minute. I got one sticking out. Okay. Um, and, you know, the way I feel about it is if you do not like the public school system, um, why would you want to change it for everyone else? Why wouldn't you just homeschool or send to a private school if you can afford it? Um, but I think public school is fine. But you have these moms of liberty. Um, and here in Indianapolis, I don't know, they had to apologize for something. But the one thing that I saw about them that really, really sent up a red flag for me, because as you know, we just had some a speech from Mr. Trump that talked very much like Adolf Hitler or Mussolini, you know, kind of gave that kind of vibe, going to root us out like vermin that don't agree with him and, you know, suspending the Constitution and um, taking political um, prisoners and, you know, just, just kind of authoritarian kind of stuff. Well, on their front of their on the front of their flyer, this is what I read. Um, it says he alone who owns the youth gains the future. That is from Adolf Hitler. Okay. And they acknowledged that it was from Adolf Hitler. And um, I can't take moms of liberty serious if that's the kind of quotations they're going to use as part of their propaganda for banning books and you know just really causing chaos in the public school systems so just remember it's that language it's that turn of suspension of constitution changing civil rights, but wanting to follow the constitution, but cherry picking the constitution. He alone who owns the youth owns, owns the youth. It wasn't leads the youth or teaches the youth. It was owns the youth gains the future. Sounds like some indoctrination to me. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. And you might just see the reactions of all my animals with this. It just started raining again. I was trying to not let the, the little goats have to come out in the rain. But I think they're going to have to come out in the drizzle. And they're not going to be happy with me. I'm not going to do... <laughs> well, I would like to do the goats. But I'm afraid it would really send them into an up a downspin but i think what would be funny is the great danes if i come in the house with that mask on y'all have a great day hugs from a distance bye y'all